Good morning. Um, today is the day after we've uh, received the new Ultimate 64 uh, firmware update uh, and one of the items I think um, most people are interested in is the uh, hyperspeed loading. Now it takes a second to let it sink sink in you know what it actually does it basically uh, provides a link between the ultimate 64 like the Commodore experience you're used to and the file system directly so it doesn't use any uh, disk uh, emulation or whatever that's why it's so fast right normally on the ultimate 64 you are also emulating uh, a disk drive uh, which uh, comes with its speed so you have to use speed loaders and all that and they can make everything better but uh, with this latest firmware uh, well no firmware with this latest uh, ultimate 64 core update uh, now we have hyperspeed which um, bridges the gap uh, between uh, the uh, the implemented uh, Commodore 64 and the file system that is also there. It's difficult. One thing it needs is a new kernel, like a special kernel that takes that into account. Now, now as you can see, I've got my uh, uh, my Ultimate 64 here set up uh, like normal. So first you have to go through the steps of installing the new uh, a kernel uh, ROM image. Now you have to download it uh, right now. It's being distributed through the 1541 Ultimate Facebook group. But uh, this this probably by the time you see this may be a different source. So you're just just gonna have to hunt around for it. So what you what you have to do first is install the kernel, then do some settings, and uh, then it'll it'll work right if you do it correctly if you don't do it correctly if you do it like i did in the beginning then it won't work so watch closely follow the steps and it'll work right if it doesn't work something's wrong and you need more help than i can give you in this video so this is like the default thing to do okay so the first thing is you download the kernel you put it on your usb drive or whatever and stick it in the ultimate 64 so you can do what i'm going to do now um as you can see, by the way, Ultimate 64 version 1.37 and then 3.9 is the core version. That's the first uh, version of the software that will support this kind of thing. So I've stored my ROM here. It is called the U64 kernel bin. You just go to that and you press enter on it. And I'm going to flash it as my alternate my first alternate kernel rom just do that system rom flashed this doesn't yet mean that i have installed the kernel i've just offered it up to the to the ultimate so that it knows it's there next i press f2 to get into the settings um and you go to th this setting now first of all you you should set it so that no cartridge is installed because this thing is going to act like a cartridge underwater. Next thing, your cartridge preference has to be internal. I say has to be. This is the instruction that I've been given. This works. Maybe it works on auto. Maybe it, it works on other settings, but I use internal. This works. Um, then you go down here and you say alternate kernel and you want to use the alternative. Now, in my case, it already jumps to that. It's already done that. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to remain working like this. Um, but this makes sure, setting this makes sure that you're using the alternate kernel as the actual kernel that you've just loaded, right? So you run stop out of this. It asks you, you want to save these changes to flash. And we say yes. Now, next there is another setting that we have to look at so we press f2 again and we go to software iec settings now you have to go in there to check the value of the soft drive bus id which is set to 10. now i never even looked at the screen maybe once but i never changed anything in here so this is going to probably be defaulted to 10 right so we because this is the device number that we're going to have to use now if I 
press F5, if I press F5, and I go to C64 machine, this is all new in this version, and I say reboot C64, we should be getting the ultimate 64 basic v2 so now we've installed a new kernel this kernel is capable of uh, doing what we want and we know we have device 10 to work with but how do we point the device at where we want to look because we don't mount a disk in the regular way so we go back in the menu and i just uh, go to one of my uh, my homebrew we'll take uh, barnsley badger you enter into the image yes you press f5 and you go to software iec and you set you, you set directory here right you've done that run stop out of that we get here if i press the dollar now i immediately get the uh the the directory listing if i do list nothing appears so we don't have anything mounted now this is how it works so now, if I want to load uh, this first, or uh, we'll just load the, uh, oh, different keyboard, sorry. Load the, the, the active file. I have to use comma 10 comma 1, and it's loaded immediately. So that's how it works. So now I can run it and, and, and do all the things. I have these extra commands to... You know, this this symbol will allow me to send uh, disk commands uh, and, and do everything. It's it's kind of like Epic's Fast Loader in that sense. Uh, and I have this to do the, the directory that I'm pointing at. But this is the way it's supposed to work. If I press run now, it'll just run the game and that'll be it. So I hope this has been helpful. See you next time. Bye-bye.